Hello and welcome back to this video. It's Leonard here from DigitalLearner.com and in today's video we are going to look at how to trade features. Um, features, either features or perpetual swap with the OKS platform using the mobile app. And the essence of this is uh, for those of you who will be getting signals to how when you want to implement these signals on the go, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to do um, some of these things on the mobile app. But before we go further, there are a few settings I want you to do. Now, in order to follow accordingly, you will need the interface that I'm using so that you don't get confused along the way. First, you will need to come in here to where it says Pro. In your own case, it will be light. So you come in here to where it says Pro and click on this. So um, by default, it comes with the light mode. So you want to change it from light to Pro. So you click on Pro. And that will change this from light um, to pro. And then the next thing you want to do here is the dark theme that I'm using. By default, yours is going to be white. So you want to change yours from um, white if you prefer the dark theme. I personally prefer the dark theme. So that's why I'm using the dark theme. So you, if you prefer the white, there's no uh, difference. Um, so to do that, all you need is click on this icon, the icon at the top. Um, left hand side here the profile icon here so go ahead and click on that icon and then when you click on the icon what you want to do is to go to where it says preferences so you click on preferences and under preferences you see where it says app mode dark so you go ahead and click on the app mode which is um, you have light and dark so by default yours is on the light mode so you want to change it to dark if you want it to be um, the way mine is so that is the first thing you need to do and then the next thing we want to do is to trade how to trade features and perpetual that is what this video is all about using the mobile app um, so I go down here to the middle where it says the buttons options you have here where it says um, trade so we'll go ahead and click on trade and this is the trading interface now by default when you click on trade yours could be on the spot mode so whatever that is here is the spot mode. So in order to trade features or perpetual, now be on spot, you buy low and you sell high. But uh, with features or perpetual swap, you are actually making money by longing the market or shorting the market. So when you buy in features, you are longing the market. And then when you uh, sell in features, you are shorting the market. So both ways, uh, in as much as your predictions are right, you make money on the market in both ways. That is the essence of this video. So right now, let's assume that you receive a signal like this. You receive a signal like this. How do you input this signal? How do you put your stop loss? How do you put your take profit and so on? That is what I'm going to show you. But before then, we will need to actually tweak the setting of this account. Um, so here on your, your um, if I go to derivative, let me change the BTC to derivative and click on derivative at the top here. So if I click on that, switch this to derivative and here on the blue button here you are seeing long and then on the um, um, red button here you are seeing short in your own case it may be buy or short in whichever way in order to get this actually you are going to click the menu icon at the top left hand side here so when you click on it this will pull up and then you want to go to where it says setting so you go to setting and under the setting here you will scroll down here to where it says um, um, position type so you click on the position type if you click on the net mode what you will be having there is buy and sell but if you want to use the long and short mode you just go ahead and check that long and short mode and that will be activated so what you will now be having here will be long and short and then you have open for the long and then close for the short so these are the options that you have here if you want to get this if your own is on the buy mode you want to change it to long and short you go to the settings and do that if yours is on the um, long and short mode and then you want to sell it change it to buy and sell then you go to the option and do that now before we go for that the next setting i want us to do here before we actually carry a trade is where you see um somewhere here where you see amount after the price you see amount and then you see some of this percentage 
um, rating at beneath it what you want to do is here on the amount if i put in whatever i put in there is going to be in btc because it is btc i want to trade if i change it from btc to let's say under the perpetual i want to trade ethereum i change it to ethereum the amount will still be in that particular coin you are changing it to so whatever amount i put here for instance if i go ahead and put in one here it means it is one ethereum that i want to trade but in your own case let's say you have a smaller balance that cannot trade one or two uh, btc or ethereum as the at the rest and you want to trade or let's say you want to raise out of hundred dollar you have on your account you want to raise ten dollars how do you do that first you go back to this setting again the setting at the top here so go back to the setting and at the story to the menu and then click on setting when you click on setting you see where it says trading unit slash usdt margin so you click on it by default it is coin so whatever you put in there will be in the coin that you are trading so by default it is coin so you go ahead and click on it and you want to change it from coin to usdt so that you'll be able to put in the amount in usdt that you want to risk in your account so once you do that you come back to the trade again and you see that instead of the amount and then btc or ethereum it has changed from amount and then this other way BT, uh, it is now usdt so here i can just go ahead and put in 10 usdt to um, risk for any position that i want to enter so in this case i'm risking 10 usdt and i still have 90 out of my 100 usdt in my account i hope these settings are clear enough now the next thing we want to do now is to carry out a trade and carrying out a trade is this is a signal that you receive let's say you receive bitcoin trade and it's telling you that the trade here let me just explain this signal before we start placing them now here is, this is telling you bitcoin trade signal and it is a swing trade swing trade in the sense that it could last for more than a day more than a week until maybe you're in profit or there about if it doesn't go against you if you are not um it doesn't hit your stop loss the swing trade will last for more than a day if it is intra trade it means it is just one day trade um, the trade should not last more than that day and the instrument is btc usdt so the btc usdt first we we'll need to go and select this instrument which is btc usdt so let me minimize this we'll go back to the app again so here at the top where you have ethereum usdt perpetual we'll go ahead and select it and when we select it if you don't have this option of spot perpetual swap and the rest just click on this icon here so if i click on it and then it will change it this way again and stuff like that so if it is in this mode it means that when i type btc i will not see the market that i want to trade let's say i type btc here um here right now you see at the top we have spot trading then down here we have margin trading under the margin we have features we have perpetual we have margins and all of this option so whatever way you you that you see here you, this is how you to navigate to the particular coin you want to trade but in this case we want to trade btc usdt perpetual so in order to do that first i will toggle this icon at the left hand side at the right hand side sorry if i toggle it on it gives me the option of different market here we have sport perpetual i want to trade perpetual and i'll go ahead and trade this the signals that i send that are best um, traded as perpetual or, or features now the difference between a um, perpetual and features is that features has expiring date if i click on features here um, it has expiring date you see that we have btc usd and then there is a number that is attached to it that number is when this position you are going to open will expire so in this case it will expire on the 13th of august the next one here will expire on the 20th of august so this perpetual the features always have expiring date of one week interval one month interval three months interval and so on so it is weekly monthly quarterly and so on so that is what features are but it is it works the same way when you long the market and it goes in your favor you make money when you short the market and it goes off when you make money so the only difference between features and perpetual is that perpetual don't have expiring date and then features has expiring date while you pay um a funding fee to keep your position open with perpetual you don't pay a funding fee because with features because it has expiring date and so on so those are the different body long and short position uh, type they are all the same with both features and perpetual so in this case we have a signal like this and it said the instrument is btc usdt so what we want to do is on the perpetual when we go back to the mobile app we we'll click on the perpetual tab here and then we want to select btc 
usdt perpetual so you go ahead and select that option that is the instrument we want to trade and the next one you see the other type is buy limit so the other type could be buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop and so on and so forth so now what we want to do is before we select the other type here where you have isolated if yours is showing cross please always make sure that this is on the isolated type tab the difference between cross and isolated is that when i trade with cross even if i'm going to risk ten dollars somewhere here even if i'm going to risk ten dollars here when i am liquidated in this market everything i have here the balance that i have here in my account will go that is what cross is but if i'm traded with if i'm trading with isolated and i put in ten dollars here it is only this ten dollars that will go whenever i am liquidated that's when the price goes against me and it hits the liquidation um, uh, price target it is only that ten dollars that i will lose i'm not losing the entire account balance so that is the difference so you all you want to make sure that you come in here after you select the instrument which is btc usdt or any other coin that uh, you get the next thing is to come in here and change from cross to isolated so you go ahead and select isolated and as the signal says here um, we have the buy limit so the buy limit will not be the limit order so the limit order is what you're having here and then the buy will not come in after you specify you go and long the market so that is what the buy limit is so we go ahead and select limit order then if it is buy stop or sell stop you want to use the stop order then if it is instant execution you want to use market order please understand this when you get these signals like this and the other type is telling you buy limit buy limit means you should use limit order if it is buy stop buy stop means you should use the stop order if it is sell stop use the st uh, the stop order if it is sell limit use the limit order if it is instant execution use the market order please take note of that clearly so let's say in this case this is um, a buy limit so we'll just go ahead and um here where we we'll select the limit order and after selecting the limit order the next thing here is where it says entering price the entering price is that we should enter at forty four thousand dollars now because it is a limit order we are the one specifying in this case the entering price now is forty four thousand and right now bitcoin is around forty six thousand so what we are going to do is that we are placing this trade in advance so that when it gets to forty four we go along the market so we'll go ahead where it says price here once you select your limit order you go ahead and select price when you select price you can now add in the price there which is forty four thousand dollars forty four thousand so forty four thousand dollars now the amount you want to raise all depends on you how much do you want to raise is it ten percent of your account balance is it twenty percent of your account balance is it fifty percent of your account balance or 100 percent whatever you risk here would mean the whole of a month you have here with 100 percent but let's say in this trade we we'll just want to risk 10 dollars so that we can have money to trade others so the equivalent of that 10 dollars is what you see at the top here so it's 0 0.001 and the leverage here we are using is actually um 10x so what you see here you see the long 10x and then the short 10x if you want to change the leverage you just click on it and you can select 20x you can select 30 years you can select 50 years you can select 70 years but always as a beginner always make sure that you are between one at most 20x so you go ahead and select it and then confirm and click ok and once you click that you will see that both the long and the short position will be in 20x because you have selected that and then what we want to risk here is ten dollars that we are going to risk we, which is um, around 10% um, of where uh, the account balance we have here so the next thing we want to do is the signal here says um, buy limit which means we are going to long the market since it is buy limit we are going to long the market and then we cannot add stop and then they take profit um, option so first after you specify this you go ahead and long the market since it is a buy limit if it is a short a sell limit then you can go ahead and click on um, the sell tab here so if it is a sell limit you go ahead and click on sell but if it is a buy limit you go ahead and click on long 
so if it is sell limit you click on um, short if it is buy limit you click on long so the next thing now is to set the take profit once you click on it it will ask you to confirm your order so once you click on it you go ahead and set the take profit by just clicking this arrow here so once you click the arrow and then you see take profit and stop loss option so one thing you want to do here is always make sure that the take profit and stop loss is on the market option we have market and we have limit so if you go with limit it will give you option to put the trigger price and then the take profit price or the stop loss price so we always go with the market so that it will close when it hit it closes at the market price now the take profit from this signal says um the target is always the take profit please understand that the target is always the take profit so the pro take profit here says forty seven thousand dollars so i'll go ahead and put in um let me minimize this so I'll go back to the app again and then on the take profit we'll go ahead and put forty seven thousand dollars and then the stop loss is at set at uh, forty two five hundred so we'll go on here to the stop loss tab and then put forty two five hundred so here on the take profit if you go through this it's telling you that with the ten dollars you are risking if you hit your target you are going to make thirty dollars and then with the same ten dollars you are risking using 20s leverage if you hit your target you are going to lose um fifteen dollars in this case so you go ahead and after that you just click on confirm and that order will be confirmed and because it is a limit order it should be showing up here at the open orders because it is pending now that it's pending it will be waiting until when bitcoin hit uh, meet up with all of the characters that you specify here then this will be um, uh, triggered and when it's triggered you will see them here where it says position so if you click on position you'll see all of your open position here but right now it is in the limit it is actually in the limit um uh, in the um open order until this is um, actually fulfilled so that is how you go ahead and place that trade and so on the next thing i want to do here is um, let's say it is instant execution that you have you have this signal here and te it tells you that it is instant execution instead of the buy limit if it is instant execution it means you are entering with the market price so in that case you want to select the limit the um, option here where it says limit order and go to market order now if the signal you receive says buy stop or sell stop and so on what you want to do is the option to use here is the stop order instead of limit or market order you go ahead and select this and use the stop order so when you select the stop order you click ok just read the um, tip there and click ok now in this case i only send when it comes to buy stop or sell stop i only send the entering price the entry price is what I sent. So when it comes to stop order, stop order means that you are telling the particular trade or pair you want to trade that you want to enter this market when this price gets to this setting or this level or that level. So in this case, the entry price here is since it is buy stop, we are going to long the market. If it is sell stop, we are going to short the market. So since it is 44,000, which is the entry price, if i am going to long this market it means that the trigger price or the other price here which is this one the other price will be greater than the trigger price that is if i'm going to long the market but if i'm going to short this market the trigger price should be greater than the other price i don't know if you understand what i just said now if I am going to, the entry price here is at $44,000 and if it is a buy stop or a sell stop, the trigger price for buy stop should be greater than the other price. Why the trigger price for sell stop should be lesser than the other price. So what you are simply saying is that you want to either buy or sell when the price of Bitcoin gets to $44,000. So if I go ahead and put $44,000 here and here where you see other price, you can decide to use the market price by just checking this where it says market and that way you cannot specify price here. But if you want to specify price and you are not using the market, you just go ahead and say if you must specify price here, it means that for if you want to long the market, 
this here had to be less a uh, greater than um the one that you have as a trigger price so in this case because i want to long the market i will now put forty four thousand one hundred. that way it will go so if i go ahead and click on long um let me just put in the amount let's say ten dollars and i'll go ahead and long the market it will go direct without complaint but if i go ahead and put because i'm longing the market and i go ahead and put um, instead of 44 100 and i go ahead and put the same 44,000 for instance if i put 44,000 here so if i go ahead and put 44,000 which is the same as the trigger price and i'll go ahead and long you'll get this complaint that your you have set a buy order price less than the trigger price so remember again that when you long the market your trigger price your order price should be greater than the trigger price when you short the market your order price there should be lesser than the trigger price so these are just the two differences you need to understand if this gets you confused all you just need to do once you put the entering prices is that the trigger price here just go ahead and use market so this will execute for you at the market price when it gets to forty-four thousand dollars. That is just the simple logic about this. So, so this will execute for you when it gets to forty-four thousand dollars using the market or whenever you want to whether to short it or to long it. But if you must specify this when you want to long or short it, it means that the trigger price for longing should be greater. The price, the other price should be greater than the trigger price. Then when you want to long it, the other price should be lesser than the trigger price so these are just the different other types and how to place the trade and so on so if you have questions you can use leave um use the comment section um if you are not too clear with this again you can use the comment section so this is all i have for you and how to place the trade and how to carry out features on your um trading app on the OKS app using your mobile phone so i hope this video was helpful all you just need to do if you don't understand anything uh, just leave a section or just watch this video once again and you definitely get um, everything that i've explained here step by step so that is it for this video and um, i will see you in the next